Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash jumbled. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. What's that song, Joe? You got it. Uh, Barracuda. Barracuda, yes. By Heart? Heart, I believe that's correct. Well, anyway, guys, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. Starting right off with a quiz. Welcome back to Jumbled, your favorite podcast about nothing. I'm Zach. I'm Joe. How's it going, man? <laughs> it's going well. We've uh, we've had some, some banter that uh, we've just sort of been rolling for... You know, good solid five minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Um, and finally decided to start it. Why okay, not? After we said all the cool stuff, let's hear I know. We, we, we had a pretty yeah. interesting uh, conversation about the uh, the Packers and the Packers-Vikings game. The Joes Vikings what won happened? this. They, the they won this I past forgot. week because... Oh, yeah. Vikings well, won. Yeah. But it's not really a win because, mm. you know... Oh, so I mean, technically, it's a win. asterisk by the record. Yeah, because Aaron Rodgers wasn't playing. Oh, because he got injured. So, so. one player makes a team, huh? <laughs> if you're the Green Bay Packers, apparently. Yeah. Apparently, that's, that's true. apparently that's the case. But the the backup quarterback, who is it? What's his name? Brett Hundley. If I was Brett Hundley, I'd be like, "You're, I gotta go in." Yeah. Oh fuck. No, no one like. I mean, he's a tough dude. He normally yeah. plays through like a you know a sprained ankle or something, mm-hmm. and. uh I mean, he he was under Brett Favre, who was like that too. Sure. And uh, I, if I was telling I'd be like, "No, I'm not ready. I haven't looked at any of the plays. <laughs> I never expected this day to come." Sure. Yeah. I, you know, he had a really great preseason, which doesn't mean shit. No. At all, you know, just because it's Cause like preseason you're, is like a, you're against the third string people. You know, who mm-hmm. cares? But but he had a good preseason, and um, I think I think is one of those things where you know. You're, the starter is prepping all week, obviously to yeah. play, and the backup isn't really doing much prep or taking snaps with what any a terrible anything. Study didn't know his lines. Well, I'm sure he knows the playbook, but he yeah. just you know he didn't take any snaps during practice, probably it's with big, anybody. And it's the big show, man. You're on. Uh... Yeah, that was his first uh, regular season. Any kind of you know, a uh, substantial time that he mm. played in the game. He, he's he been in garbage time at like, you know, five minutes left or whatever. Yeah. And they're just running the ball to try to run the clock out here. Get some stats, man. And they were, it was at Minnesota. Yeah. So you're away. Yeah. And that stadium is awesome. Dude, it, it is awesome. Don't they have like a big, uh, yes, a big Viking ship. Um, yes. Coming out of the side or something, Maybe? and they have like a horn or a drum yes, or something. Do, no, they have a big horn that That's someone what blows at the start. The yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, and they have the uh, the glass dome mm-hmm. retractable. Mm-hmm. It's on nice days. Probably it was probably open on. I think it was open on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. See, Green Bay's got um, they've got something similar. They've got a big cowbell. There's a clunk 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 clunk. It's like just as big as yeah. as your horn, but Christopher it's Christopher Walken's always there. Clunk 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 clunk. We clunk. need here's my here's my Walken. We need more cowbell. That's really good, dude. Wait, let me try again. We need more cowbell. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me try. Yeah. <clears throat> we need more cowbell. Oh my gosh. Oh man. It's like Christopher. Wa- I close my eyes and it's like Christopher Walken was across and yeah. I open them and it's like it's you. That was weird. <laughs> Hey, you know, I've been working on it. Yes. It's, yes. Uh, you even got his, like, his, uh, his New man. England accent? I did. Yeah. Wow. Very much so. Wow. You know? <laughs> I do what I do, man. You know? Um, so, yeah. We, uh... Right, right before we hit record, he said he said something that uh, no one should ever say. What did getting I say? The, getting the stash out. <laughs> getting like, the stash getting out. Getting the stash out. Yeah. It's like a, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, we uh, a, a, a bad like a '70s cop show or something like that. <laughs> getting getting this, the stash out. Yeah. Well, are we talking like stash, like your, your like your stash of money, or are you talking about like a like mm. a stash mustache. mustache? Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I know. But uh, it's gotten so long. I need to see my barber because he trims all that shit about up for your me. Mustache? You can't trim your mustache. I mean, I could, but you I don't want to take. Upset, like, hey. He's like, that's that my goddamn trim. hair, man. Yeah. You don't trim your own hair. Um, <laughs> don't touch no, you know, it just looks better if he does it because I always go too crazy and take it too short or something. Yeah, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> he gets he gets paid the big bucks for. I pay him five hundred dollars every time I see him. Oh my gosh! Yeah, does he oil your beard? Mm-hmm. With gold? Yeah, gold oil. Yeah, gold uh, oil from uh, from y- uh, yak's milk. It's extracted from Whoa. yak's milk, but like the yaks over actually in Europe. Oh, and they're just eating gold. They're eating well. It's 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 grass that's the the fertile the fertilizer has yeah. gold fleck in it. Oh wow, yeah. that's gold, Jerry. <laughs> it is gold. gold. It is gold. No, but I uh, you know I don't I don't like fucking with my mustache. So it's gotten pretty long. Yeah, and it's going into my mouth. So. Get the stash out. Trying get the to, stash out. Trying out to get the, the stash out of, out of the mouth. Out of the mouth. Yeah. Are you a uh, you a Seinfeld fan? I like Seinfeld. I don't. I I haven't watched every episode oh, okay. or or consider myself a super fan or anything like mm, that. Okay. I mean, I like Seinfeld as a comedian. Yeah. I just haven't, and, and I like the show. I just haven't like. I haven't watched all of them. That's all right. Or like, can recall. Well, there was an things. episode where Jerry writes. Uh, jokes for a friend uh-huh. about Ovaltine. Yeah. And, um, oh, why well, can't I think of the other comic's name? But um, he said, that's gold, Jerry. That's gold. Oh, okay. So that's what that that quote's from. <laughs> I, I think I, I've heard that quote before. Mm-hmm. And I think you even said it before. And I, mm-hmm. I knew where it came from, obviously, because when you say Jerry, it's like... Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It's There's... either got to be Seinfeld or it's like... Uh, Jerry Springer. <laughs> yeah. Because his show was comedy. As, yeah, it was comedy oh, gold. Um, oh, there it is. What? I, I haven't been able to hear for like two minutes. Oh. Um, what was I was going to say, you said Springer. Oh, have you seen the comedian? Um, he's got a special on Netflix. He is um, very similar to Seinfeld. His name is like something Hamilton, maybe? Hmm. Not Lynn Miranda Manuel. Is in Hamilton and wrote it. Oh yeah, yeah. no. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Well, if um, I'll find it and then yeah, we can yeah. talk about it we'll at that point. Yeah. Time. yeah. But um, speak of Lynn Manuel Miranda, uh-huh. I think I got those the first time I got it backwards. Yeah. Um, not Lynn Miranda. Miranda. Man- yeah. Manual no, or whatever. I I remember when he so it, the. Hamilton all started from this like one song like he started writing about Alexander Hamilton and he Didn't performed he? it at the White House. Yeah. 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 And I remember like hearing that for the first time. I was like, dude, that like and I just listened to that every once in a while. That's then, pretty like, cool. I want to I want to go see the uh show. The I would I would love to see it. Uh, you know, I I'd, I haven't seen too many musicals like in a theater, but uh <clears throat> especially something like that. I'm not opposed to just you know, hitting up the theater. Yeah, yeah, man. Right, let's do it. What are you so, doing tomorrow? I don't think it's in town, is it? Oh, I don't know. We we'll, can go to it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I've seen um the uh, the Book of Mormon. Yeah, on Broadway. I would like week. to see that one as well. I've not seen that. It was uh, it was a surprise. Nikki uh, took me out for uh, brunch mm-hmm. for my birthday, and then uh, we started walking. And she's like, all right, here's the next party gifts. I'm like, where are we going? What are we doing? And I'm like looking around like, like I'm not, we're just walking down the street and we get to the convention center and I look on the wall and it said Book of Mormon. I was like, are we going to the Book of Mormon? She's like, yes. Are you excited? I'm like, yes. That's awesome. I've li- I listened to that uh, soundtrack. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Hasadiga Ibo man. Mm-hmm. Hasadiga Ibo <laughs> I yeah. think think my uh my favorite song from from that soundtrack is uh uh Baptize Me. I think that's my yeah. favorite. If you guys haven't uh if you guys haven't 
heard of the Book of Mormon, uh, where have you been? Like, yeah. Not not the actual book, but the mm-hmm. but the play. Oh, okay. If, yeah, where have you been for the last 175 years? Yeah, yeah. No, Something like that. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's not a religion. Um, there are like 16 million of them. We, and we do have a lot of plays from Salt Lake City, too. Mm-hmm. I've been going through our stats. Do we? Ooh. We got a lot more. of people in Salt Lake City that listen. So, you know. It's hey, my name's Joe. It's true. Yeah. Um, in your last name, you changed it. It's Smith now. Smith. Yeah. But you go by Joe Smith. So you, Joe Smith. Joe, Joe yeah, Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't heard of the Book of Mormon, mm-hmm. uh, the play. The musical. <clears throat> Musical. It's a better, mm-hmm. better way to describe they it sing. for sure. Yeah. Um, it's, it's by, I always get their names mixed up. Trey Parker. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. No, Matt Parker and Trey Stone. Trey's I, Parker and Matt Tone. M- m- yep. Yeah, m- yep. Yeah. That's something like that. It's Trey but, Parker and Matt Stone. Yeah. But the, uh, in the creators know of, from basketball. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, South Park, all that what? stuff. Uh, Team America. What? Uh, no, they didn't do that. They just did, no. This is their first thing since basketball. Yeah, yeah. They haven't Definitely. done anything else. Um, but it's full of uh, just really, really great. And there, there's sarcastic. A, there's a third guy that helped him write it, helped them write it in, like mm. the music side of it, and he did Avenue Q. Have you ever heard that soundtrack? It's about. It's a uh, play on Sesame Street, where this person moves into Sesame Street and all these monsters and Muppets and stuff. Oh, okay. I have not heard that. That's my... um, But anyway. Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get there? Yeah, you take a... You got to talk to the the hobo on the corner. Mm. Oh, you're talking about Oscar (coughs) the Grouch, who lives in the trash can? Yeah, and he's he's always always just Ah. like... He's sort of standoffish, so you got to break through. He's got a tough exterior. It's called a Uh trash can. Mm. So, I see what you did there. You got to break through that, and then uh, he'll he'll tell you how to get there. Oh, I yeah. I can't. He'll point it's you a, to Maria, yeah, and she'll um, she'll let. Well, she's not on there anymore. She retired last year after forty four years. Dang, that's not her actual name. I don't know her actual name, but her character's name is Dude. Maria. Wouldn't you have a complex if you went by a different name for forty four years? Yeah. Wouldn't like if somebody said in public if somebody was like, "Hey Maria," wouldn't you think she would like also turn around? Yeah, yeah she probably. Oh yeah, she definitely would. Like I her, you would. Her name was probably like, yeah. I don't know, Lillian or something like that. Yeah. And, um, I can't remember what it is. It doesn't matter. I but just read about it the other day. Hmm. Forty-four years is a long time to do anything. Yeah, to be on the show, I think she, she said she was twenty or twenty-one. Something like that. So she was like, it's like one of her she, first gigs. She was she was <coughs> one of the pe- first people probably with oh, yeah. uh, Jim original. Henson and and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, Big Bird, Big Bird, yeah, yeah. Dude, your uh, cat. Who let my cat down here? Who? That's a different Baja Men song. Have you heard that one? Uh huh. Who let the cat in? <laughs> this is not our cat. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, there's the neighborhood cats outside today yeah chip chip good old chip man he's nice chip. he's i feel like i've talked about him before but maybe not um he is a neighborhood cat and i feed him every once in a while when he comes to see me yeah and man he comes up to me and he, and he purrs and he lets me pet him and he's very kind you've been feeding him meatball subs he's yeah. big yeah he's no big I, just boy. Give, I just give him a little handful no okay. handful not yeah. a full because i know he i know he gets around the neighborhood and eats food everywhere he gets around yeah i see him just lounging all over the place down the alley. He's Wouldn't it like, be nice? Yeah, to be a cat, dude. Yeah, he's keeping he's keeping the neighborhood free of rodents. Um, he's not doing a good job. There's a mouse in my garage. Is there? There has been for a couple of years. Yeah, he's actually been in there sniffing around before. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of uh, mice, um, <clears throat> speaking of mice, there was a who's your favorite mouse? Uh, Mickey, of course. Really? Yeah, yeah. mine's probably uh, Fifle. That's fair. Mm-hmm. That's a good one too. Yeah. Mine wasn't the dead one that happened uh, to end up on my uh, kitchen floor that my cat murdered. Oh yeah, that's a gift. That was a gift. Yeah. My my wife posted a picture on uh, on Facebook, and it was like, well, I was expecting something shiny, but a gift's a gift. But it was like, it was just like, cat was just sitting right next to it. it was like, mm-hmm. there you go. 
That's something you want, right? Yeah, you're welcome. I did say you're welcome, you know. I don't want I don't want to share space with anything like that, so hmm. so it's it's good. Uh Moby doesn't go outside, so he does not uh he doesn't catch anything. Yeah. He's about to catch a foot. Dude, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna move him. Alright. <clears throat> so I'll just keep talking from okay. over yonder. Yeah. Joe's Joe's cat is really fucking terrible. Um, I think there's like a general consensus around here that he needs to like, he needs to get injured in some way, shape or form. Uh, we're not going to be the ones that do it, but you know, like if it happened, I don't think anybody would really be, you know, too crazy upset because you know, there's chip, you know, if you got chip, why do you need Moby? You know, I think that's, that just sort of goes without saying, you know, you don't really have to explain too much. Why hey, you, you don't have to explain too much why Chip is better than Moby, but he is, and that's known. Hey, where the hell did you get popcorn? Oh, I just man walls upstairs. Give me some, dude. No, it was my wife's. I said, hey, do you want some popcorn? I said, all of it. And she said, yeah. It's like awesome, badass, dude. We're well, out of. Uh... <laughs> don't mind all the crunching that I, you'll I hear. Jogged. Um, oh. we're out of the uh, black jewel. Popcorn that I like to get, I make it on the stove with some uh, some vegetable oil. Yeah, I salt it and butter it myself. There's just something about that, you know. For sure, I drop some on the floor. I'll this eat it is, later. Uh, don't mind this popcast. The popcast, dude. We're not jumbled anymore. We're the popcast. Where That'd we be- just review popcorn. Hmm. <laughs> you know, this week, uh, Orville Redenbaugh. Next week, Black Duel. <laughs> no, this week we're gonna put a pinch of salt in. <laughs> Next week we're gonna get crazy and put two. Um, Piggly Wiggly brand versus uh, Kroger. <laughs> nah, screw Piggly Wiggly, dude. Um, completely switching gears. You know that song "Turning Japanese"? No. You haven't heard uh, "Turning Japanese"? I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. No. No. Wow! So, yeah, All right. No, well, can't no. talk about that then. What? What? Who wrote that song? Uh, it was like a it was a song from the eighties. Really? I can't remember who's who sings it, but um, I thought I thought you were gonna be. I thought it was the song. If I had to guess, uh, we are Siamese, if you please. No, because that's racist. But what's also racist? That's from a uh, Aristic <clears throat> cat. Yeah, because they're Disney movie. yeah, because they're Siamese cats. I know. Yeah. I'm just being silly. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of. Um, but the um, that turning Japanese song, mm-hmm. I hear, is about um, it's a euphemism. It's a euphemism for um, orgasm. Because you because your you eyes hear, squint. You hear about that? Because your eyes squint whenever you. So it's like it's racist. Oh, it's it, turning Japanese. Oh. That's like when, um... It's pretty racist, but, yeah. you know, it's the 80s. Well, you know, remember when, uh... Friggin', uh... Black Eyed Peas, when they did Let's Get It Started, but it was actually Let's Get Retarded? Yeah, but that song was all about m- mental retardation, right? Yeah, I mean, that's just... I mean, it just says, you know... I think it's a kind of appalling... No, I'm... I'm trying to make light oh, of okay. it. I was trying to make light of it, but you really can't, you know? No. no. It, it's not something... Hey, good podcasting. It's not really something you can... You can even apologize for. Yeah, tune, tune into a microphone. No, the yeah. the Black Eyed Peas song. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just sort of has to be one of those things where it's like... We have pulled up. We weren't thinking. We pulled all our records. We yeah. changed it to let's get it started. Because that's what it should have been all, mm-hmm. all along. Sorry about that. Yeah. Because that's basically what they were meaning when they said, let's get... Yeah. It's like, let's get crazy, is yeah. what they were... But it's like, whatever. Yeah. Jerks. Black Eyed. Will I Am. Will I Am. The friggin' Fergie. Fergie and more the like, other two... Like a- turdy. The other two alien dudes that are in the group. <laughs> hey, not to... Uh... Nobody knows their names, but I'm pretty sure they're aliens. Well, they should probably go... Visit Norm and the other people, Woody mm-hmm. Allen and Ted Danson. Yeah. Somewhere where they're all everybody aliens. knows their name. 
Uh-huh. Hey, uh, not to completely change the subject, but jumbled. Um, there was a man, uh, a British man, um, who went to cardiac arrest because something was caught in his throat. Dick. <laughs> I was about to give you, I was about, not, not some multiple choice, but just give you some parameters. It's not a, uh, oh, okay. it's not a member. Gotcha. So you're going to give me some parameters? Yeah, it's not a body part. Okay. <laughs> so guess. So it's something that he swallowed, that he went in a car- yeah. cardiac arrest it's, because of it's it. It's not, I mean, it's something you technically eat, but not, I mean, you shouldn't, not in this kind of form. Not in this way. Like eight pounds of poppy seeds. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, he, uh, he was on a boat, I'll tell you that. Salt water. And his, nope. That'll kill you. This man didn't die, though. I should mm. say that. He had his mouth open when he was out on a boat. Piss. <laughs> he hey. was on a piss boat. <laughs> he was on a pee boat called uh, the SS Golden Shower. Yes, the SS Golden and, Shower. Donald uh, Trump. Yeah. Famous, famous, uh, famously owns that boat. It is a... Uh, a a soul fish, a Dover, a six inch Dover soul fish. The guy was out fishing. What the hell's a soul fish? It sucks uh, the soul out of, of you. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a wide looking fish. I think it's got, you know how most fish, I mean, it looks like it's really flat. It's kind of, you know, flat like a angel fish, but not like that small. Mm-hmm. But, um, you see it a lot on, at like in restaurants, hmm. I guess not a lot, but anyway, he had his mouth open and a uh and he was like dangling it and uh dropped it in his mouth on accident and it lodged itself in the guy's throat and he passed out and had cardiac arrest and the uh the paramedics um tried three times and on the third time got the fish out cuz the the fin is really delicate and so it uh kept it ripping kept ripping fuck yeah, don't ever joke about, you, you know how sometimes people are like, oh yeah, I'm going to eat this whole thing or something, and yeah. like, he dropped a fish in his mouth. You know, that's like, that's a better ending to the story than, um, you know, like he was at a shit party on a boat or something like that. Yeah. You know, he's getting pooped on or something and mm-hmm. some tragic accident happened. But I do like the, the pee story better, I will say. Yeah. The, the, the SSP party or whatever we called it. Yeah. You can come. I mean, you can, you can come back from that. Like swallowing. swallowing. Can you though? <laughs> Probably not. Like not socially. No, never. You're you're moving to like, somewhere else. Once somebody finds out that you like to get peed on, that's pretty much the end of it. You know. True. Imagine. I don't even like to get though, peed on in the shower. Have you ever caught a fish? Yeah. I can just like. You, say you don't even like getting peed on the shower. Like that's so, like that's something that most people like. I'm. You know, most people like getting peed on the shower. I don't even like being peed on, the, on in the shower. No, I'm just saying, like, that rinses it away immediately. I wouldn't even want to get peed on with another stream of water washing away the urine, is what hmm. I'm saying. And, yes, I have caught a fish, but it's it was, like, one at uh, Glenwood Hills. Yeah, at the so if you ever taken it off the hook and you got to, like, peel the, um, you have to, like, hold the fin back because they're usually, like, sharp. Yeah. Imagine that in like your esophagus. At least it wasn't like a, pulling against it. At least it wasn't a puffer fish. It's true. That would have sucked, huh? It would have blown. Oh, oh shit! Man. Boom. And I, I mean, yeah, it would have sucked. I mean, it was in his mouth too. It was like, yeah. Anyhow, that's my story. Man, that. See you later. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Oh, and Joe's gone, everybody. So now More I'm just popcorn. gonna I'm gonna eat popcorn by myself for. Anyway, um, well, we're going to change subjects again. Uh, Joe, I don't know if you've seen this. It's, I, I, I think the form I've seen it in, it was a, uh, it was a, a GIF. But it's this archer, but he's, uh, he's an amputee. He's a double amputee, so he doesn't have arms. Okay. Yep. Oh, so he, is that what double amputee means? Well, just for the arms. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so he is shooting... This bow and arrow with just his feet. He's holding. Really? He's holding it with his. He's holding it with one foot, and he's pulling, 
pulling the bow or pulling the arrow back Dude. to release with his other foot. And it's pretty amazing. And he hits this target and it's like, it's better than I could do with my arms, you know? And then the next shot you see is a, uh, the judge like handing him a, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> The next shot you see, <laughs> sorry, Joe's having to open uh, some an ice cream. Is that ice cream? It is. You brought us you're, ice cream. You're making me open this up and not even like bringing me a spoon to get some of it. That's so nice. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, no, but the the next shot you see is the judge walking up to like present to give this guy uh, a medal or a trophy, whatever it was. And he reaches out to shake his hand. Oh my gosh. But he doesn't have any arms. And it's one of the most cringe worthy things I've ever seen on the internet. Does he shake his foot? It just cuts off. That's like that's similar to when the one the story I told about um it's a dude from American Idol and everything on E and he produces all that stuff. Oh yeah, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> yeah, when he goes to high five that blind dude. <laughs> gosh, you just gotta feel terrible after something like awful. You feel bad for the person, and you're just so glad it's not you. Yeah, yeah. But we sort of live for those moments, don't we? Definitely. Where you just you get to see people fail, and you get to laugh about it, because it's not you. Schadenfreude. We've talked about it. Speaking that. of Avenue Q, there's a song about that. It's called Schadenfreude. Tell me all about it, Joe. Making me feel glad that I'm not you. Mm-hmm. That's the lyrics? Mm-hmm. That's one of the lyrics. Nice. It's not. That's not a bad one. You man. know, um, if you had to uh, guess which of these three uh, NBA basketball players are considered to be frugal, um, I'm gonna go with uh, Steph Steph Curry or uh, LeBron James or um, Russell Westbrook. Or I'm gonna give you a fourth, and that fourth is it's gonna be like some some tenth man on like a team that everybody forgets about. Yeah, like the Seventy Sixers or something like that. Horace Grant. <laughs> no man, he has to spend all his money on goggles. <laughs> um, I would say. Hmm. I've seen videos of Steph Curry just, like, doing regular things like mini-golfing. So it sort of seems like he's a down-to-earth kind of guy who would just be okay with chilling. LeBron's had money for forever, so maybe he's calmed down with his spending. And then Russell Westbrook, I don't know. I don't, I, I admittedly don't know too much about Russell Westbrook. I don't. I, I don't watch too much NBA nowadays. Um, I'm going with Steph. Wrong. Horace Grant. Because <laughs> he doesn't have any money anymore. Stop playing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's LeBron. Is he? Yeah. So I, I was cool. reading a, a story about him today. So he's made, um, just in salary, over his time in the uh, NBA, he's made $200 million. Sure. And that doesn't count endorsements. Uh-huh. Which includes a lifetime... Um, Nike sponsorship mm -hmm. worth, uh, it's an undisclosed amount, but most people think it's a, like a billion. Yeah. Literally $1 billion with a B. Mm -hmm. Billion. But he, uh, he's, his uh, teammates joke about how, uh, how frugal he is. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't, uh, he doesn't pay for apps on his phone. He doesn't. He doesn't uh, data roam. Like he'll only be on his phone on Wi-Fi. That's pretty and, cool. And then uh, he said, um, I wrote the quote down because he was having a. Uh, oh, who was his old uh, uh, Dwayne Wade? He was in a uh, an interview with him, and he says, "So LeBron says, no, I'm not doing that. Like being on my phone, you know, without Wi-Fi." And he says, "I'm not turning data on. I'm not turning on data roaming. I'm not buying no apps." I still got Pandora with commercials. <laughs> <laughs> and one of his teammate texts, I don't remember which one it was, but he said, yeah, there's nothing like having a, uh, 
having uh, a, a workout interrupted uh, by a Pandora ad. <laughs> it's funny. You know, you, that? you have so much money and you're not like just, I mean, it's not, it, it, some things like that isn't like really balling out of control. I mean, you're sure. not like buying a Ferrari, but geez, man, like, I mean, you don't have to worry about anything. Some bro- somebody like LeBron James has a lot of work ethic. Yeah. So maybe that, that com- commitment to something also helps him in, in his frugality, not being, not, not spending so much because he's. He's used to, you know, not doing something, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's just, and that's, yeah, just who he is, too. Like, but it's also gonna, it's also going to affect him positively through the rest of his life. I mean, mm-hmm. you hear about, you hear about, like, um, all these professional athletes that just blow through all their money, yeah. you know, and then they're having to do, like, uh, public, like, appearances for... Or, or they have to, like, try to steal some of their own memorabilia back. Yeah. Yeah, like uh if your if your name happened to be, like be a breakfast uh drink. Mhm. You know. Yeah. Breakfast tea Smith. <laughs> mhm. Mhm. OJ. Oh, that's right. Julius. Yes. Orange Julius, which is uh in every mall. I don't think it is orange. What? Oh, Elaine. What are you talking about? Or OJ's actual first no, name? No, I don't know Orenthal. his actual. It's like Orenthal or something like that. Uh, I didn't know. He, I thought he was just OJ. <laughs> I thought I thought somebody named the baby OJ. This is OJ. <laughs> What's your baby's name? OJ. What does it stand for? It's OJ, man. It's OJ. Yeah, we know a dude named just J. Letter J. J. Barry. It's true. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Just letter J. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna name I'm gonna name my kid just Z. But Thank I'm you. Gonna, Thank you, man. But it's gonna be Z. Oh, so you're We're gonna, gonna go with the Canadian pronunciation? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. you know, hate you too, man. All right, guys, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor for today's podcast, Audible. Obviously, Audible is the premier uh, provider of digital audiobooks, so. You know, you're picking a good one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, they are offering you a free 30-day trial. Wait, how much is it? Uh, Free. Uh, Yeah, but how much do I have to pay? You got, you got, you you have lint in your pocket? No. I clean my clothes. You got a coin in your pocket? What do you have in your pocket? I've got a toothpick. You know what? Take the toothpick. Hold on to it, man. Because it's free. Oh my gosh. You don't have to pay a toothpick, dude. Do I have to give my credit card? No, you don't. Oh my gosh! You don't have to do anything. That's incredible. Um, actually, I'm not sure about the uh, the credit card part. <laughs> yeah, you probably have to check in that. Yeah, I think you have to start it, a Prime account. Yeah. yeah, they want to know that. Yeah, I think you probably got to. Yeah, you pro- you probably do. Anyway, but, you know it's it's free. It's free for 30 days. Uh, risk free, obviously. If yeah. you if by the end of your 30 days you don't want to re up, hey, you're making a bad decision. Just- Shake those hands off, walk away. You're making a bad decision, but you have the ability to just cancel that thing. If you want. Don't do it, though. Mm-hmm. Um, so you get the free 30-day trial, and on top of that, Joe, you get a free audiobook. Oh, my God. Making your day great. So I thought that I would recommend, uh, and I think you have one as well, um, a book that you can listen to for the month of October. I'm going to be listening to I'm Fine and Other Lies, written and narrated by Whitney Cummings. Whitney Cummings is uh, a comedian. You might have seen uh, she's had several sitcoms. She's just sort of showing you uh, the sort of uh, she's giving you a behind the scenes sort of peek into her life. And uh, just, you know, it says the lifetimes, mistakes and crippling codependence of uh, being a comedian, producer, director, actress and writer. So if you ever had any uh, any desire to know what that's all like, uh, give that a listen. It's a. Nine hours and ten minutes of listening time. So you're getting your you're getting your non money's worth, Joe. <laughs> what do you have to to offer? I have a book by Trevor Noah, and it is called "Born a Crime: Stories from a South African Childhood," and it really talks just about that. And it's narrated by Noah Trevor, and he is the host. Trevor of, Noah, though, you know what did I say? Noah Trevor. I meant Mr. Noah, Mr. Uh, Noah, tr- comma Trevor. Oh, like okay. In, like it, in the, the phone uh, book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it tells the stories about growing up in. Um, 
really the uh, the apartheid of South Africa. So um, his perspective on that and his experience. Sweet. All right, so those are your suggestions. Obviously, Audible has so much more to offer you guys. So if you want to head over to audibletrial.com slash jumbled and check out what they have to offer, uh, that would be great. So, Joe, what is that? One more time. Audibletrial.com slash jumbled. Enjoy. Hey, um, do you know what the, um, the RBG workout is? Do you know what that stands for? Red, blue, green. No. Good guess. Not really, though. I'll give you another guess. It's uh, it's a person. Um, r- hmm. Hmm. It's a, I'll give you another hint. It's a woman. I'll give you another hint. She's short in stature. I got nothing. I'll give you another hint. <laughs> she is one of nine. I'll give you another hint. It's this. I'll give you one more hint. Um, Kate McKinnon has played her on SNL. Uh, that alien lady. Alien lady? Yeah, the lady who's always getting picked up by aliens or uh, something. Getting... Hillary Clinton. No, it's not Hillary Clinton. Not RB. I was talking about oh. getting picked up by aliens. No. There's... I know you're talking about yeah. that, too. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. What, I don't know what these guys are talking about. Huh. I was here. I was walking in the woods, and all of a sudden, I just get tugged. <laughs> yeah. The other people are like, "It was a great experience." Yeah. And they laid us down in a in a field of wildflowers. And yeah. She's like, I ended up on top of the uh, Captain D's. Yeah. She's like smoking a cigarette the yeah. whole time. <laughs> Dude, there's a reason she's gotten. Uh, an Emmy for her performance. She's she's the awesome. Last two or three years. I don't know. Two, but she's, she's got awesome. at least two. Um, so RBG. She's one of nine. She wears a black robe. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There you go. There's a workout for that. There's a book that just came out today. <laughs> Is it how to na- RBG workout? <laughs> Is it was it just like putting on a robe? Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's one page. Wow. Step one on your own step two done step two no uh sit for... so she she's 84 mm-hmm. and apparently she uh she does things like uh squats really? she does curls hmm. um she does planks and she does push-ups twice a week with a trainer for an hour that's pretty cool yeah like nothing keeps her from it you gotta you gotta stay Isn't limber crazy she's 84 years old that is nuts she's working out more frequently than I do. That's a like I was filling out paperwork today for like I got a new uh, primary care physician. Yeah, you told me about and, it. And um, I'm doing all I'm seeing him next week, and um, it's like one of the questions was, "Do you exercise regularly?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Define next. regular. Uh, it's like walking my dog down the street back. Is that? You know, I think exercise? workout is up is open to definite <laughs> like interpretation. You know. What do we mean regularly? Like, do I do regular workouts, or am I doing some kind of weird stuff where I'm walking on my hands? Yeah, my thumbs are nice and nice and uh, muscly, you know. Yeah. And who is you? Is that is that me? Is it you, like a general? Well, yeah, it's like you, you guys. You yeah. So. I just want to know. Yeah, like, do you, like, are you representing the entire Caucasian rate? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like. All, everybody, you, do you, you all, you ins. Do you, yeah. Yeah, no. What'd you answer? I said no. Well, that's fair, but mm-hmm. I think you might need to talk to John Cena. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Do you know that meme? No. Anyway. Is that where he runs in and just, uh. No, who's that? <laughs> John Cena is. Uh, I know he's uh, he's uh, from WWE. Uh huh. Or WWF back or in the day. or the Marine. Yeah. You ever see that movie? Yeah. Or he's um, in that too. Movies. He's been in movies. He's been in other movies too. He's actually pretty funny. Yeah. He's been on SNL a few times as well. Um, what's the one where someone just? Uh, it's usually like in video, like fail videos, where someone's like tripping or falling, and the wrestler comes in and like. Does like a oh uh, you're talking about um oh gosh it's not Randy Savage is it no no it's not Macho Man Randy Savage 
Oh may yeah. Rest in, may rest in peace. Snap mm-hmm. from Slim Jim. Don't remember him for that. Um, you don't remember him from that? I said you shouldn't remember. Like oh. that shouldn't be the thing you remember. The Macho Man. Maybe you shouldn't. Have, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have done that commercial. Maybe not. That's his own fault. He shouldn't have dressed up in that funky. Like he had all the like dangly stuff off his. He was wearing that kind of mm-hmm. the jacket with all the dangly pieces yeah. off of it. No, of you're that. you're thinking of Randy Orton. So I got the Randy right. Yeah, Randy Orton jumps in and he like RKO's him. Randy. Um. Yeah, I love those. I love every video that has RKO. Uh, it's his. Real, it's his finish. Knockout? Randy uh, knockout. Randy knockout. I don't know. It's his finisher. I don't watch wrestling anymore. I just know wow. some of the. Dude, don't lie. <laughs> Monday, Thursday, every week. <laughs> don't miss it. Pay and pay per view. And, and Sunday nights too. Actually, I don't think Sunday night. I don't know. I don't. I don't watch it. You don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't watch it anymore. The mo- the most. Seems to know a lot about John Cena. Well, I know about John. Everybody knows about John Cena. Who? You just talked. I don't about even know his name. You just said his name. Who's? Whatever, man. Hey, uh, something I've always wanted to do, and I don't know if you can relate to this. Um, I've always Jump wanted out of a plane. I've always wanted to either no, not that. No. Why? Go why, scuba diving. Why do that? Scuba diving would be pretty cool. Get a tattoo, dude. Hmm. Nailed it. Captain a boat. No, I'd, I've always wanted to either Go to outer space. crack a safe. Just pushing through? Yep. I've always wanted to crack a safe or hack a mainframe. Yeah, dude. Crack or hack, dude. One or the other. I want to crack a safe or hack a mainframe. I actually sort of know how to crack a safe. Do but not like a traditional, a not a traditional like turn the knob mm-hmm. or whatever. I can, I can get into a digital safe. And I don't know if I should say on the podcast how to do it, because no, that's not good. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't. But, you know, just because you have that information, you, you own a safe. I, a I, digital safe that you crack into. There was a safe with the passcode at the rental place that I used to live at that was left behind. The batteries on the digital part were dead. Uh-huh. So I couldn't even, like... I couldn't even try to brute force my way in that way. There was a key. There was a key, a spot for a key, but the key wasn't there. So I couldn't get in that way. It wasn't one of those like uh, diary ones, you Mm -mm. know, like that universal kind of looking (laughs) luggage one. Yeah. No, it wasn't. And, um, And so I learned if you grab the handle and you lean the safe back, and uh-huh. then you drop it at the moment it hits, you can jimmy it loose. Huh. And that's why most people anchor or like secure their safes to the floor. Mm-hmm. So people can't do that kind of stuff. But I opened it up and there was an envelope in it that said rent, but there was no money in it. Oh, so that's I'm too bad. I'm betting the people that uh they obviously had a lot of cash. Yeah. On hand. I'm betting so it was they one were of those white ones, like where it opened up opens up from the top? No. Oh, okay. No, it was a. It opened up from the front, but. So do you think this is a universal method? I don't know. I haven't you, tried. You I haven't saw tr- it on the heist. I haven't. No, I saw it on YouTube, oh. but I haven't tried it on any any other safes. So, you know, if you have your own digital safe, don't do it on any other ones. Mm-hmm. I'm not asking you to break into stuff. I would and, never do that. And uh, always you try it on your own. You know, um, if you do decide to do it, put some gloves on, wear some <laughs> goggles because you want to be safe. We're going to get... This is going to turn around <laughs> on us, man. Real quick. Well, the guys yeah. on Jumble told me to do it. No, don't do that. But I've always wanted to, like, be, like, an expert safe cracker. Like, mm-hmm. where you got to pull out a stethoscope and, like, yeah. listen for the, you know, yeah. the pins well, to that's fall a, on the place. You know, that's a pretty... It's a safe job. It's steady work. It's a safe job. Nice, mm-hmm. man. I like where your head's at, dude. Yeah. Um, I did see it was I think it was like an episode of like CSI or something like that where they were they were somebody was hacking into their system mm-hmm. and they had uh the one of those chick, computer programs that, like it's just it was, ridiculous. Yeah, and this chick was like on 
she was she was typing on the keyboard or whatever, and but it was like getting like really fast, like the hack was happening really fast. So this other guy jumps in and like get out of the way. So, no, you would think he'd like push her out of the way, but somehow they've learned how to type in unison because he's now typing on the same keyboard. No. Yes, I the have the same like QWERTY. <laughs> yes. Keyboard. <laughs> So it makes no sense. Well, like he's the left hand, and she's the right, or they're like they're using they're both hands on the same keyboard. Like, no one is that familiar with a QWERTY keyboard that they can operate half of it with two hands. You know? <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not. like it's not. It's a not thing. like uh, um, solving one of the six sides of a Rubik's cube. You know, where it's just a yeah. different color. No, you're, you're not doing this. It's not. That's just not how it works. And what they're going like every other letter? I don't know. That's the thing that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's NCIS. Okay. Oh, yeah. So uh, this is called uh, Two Idiots, One Keyboard. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll have to watch that later. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it right now for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Just a live. Uh... Yeah. So we can sort of talk about it. So she's getting go. hacked. Oh yeah. The windows are flying I've all over this. the place. Yeah. Okay. This kind of looks like um, she's the original like, Jurassic Park, where stuff just keeps popping up. She's like, I can't stop it. You know. Wait, I can't stop it. Look, oh, let me jump in there. Let me jump in there and type. They are. They're like shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> it's like they're playing like that. Do 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 Goth looking chick and Thackeray Banks. Speaking of, uh. Oh, was that Zachary Banks from uh, Thackeray? Hocus, thank you very much. From Hocus Pocus. His name is Thackeray in the movie. I hate when people say Zachary Banks because that's at, not his name. At the very end, uh, she's watching. She's like, oh, Zachary Banks. She, she says Thackeray, dude. His name is Thackeray. No, it's not. Oh, dude. It is not Thackeray. I've seen that movie and it is not. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna Google search it. You're that confident? I'm I'm that confident that it's Thackeray that I am willing to just let it go and gather my point and take it because I, I I'm a power stay. It's going on power. I'm you know what I'm so I'm so sure of this that if I am wrong, I am willing to give up five big ones. Okay, You're, five big this ones. If I'm jeopardy. wrong. When you're putting five points on the line yeah. with Thackeray, yeah. yeah, Thackeray, dude. <laughs> no, dude. There's no I did way. it. I already did it. It's done. Some little children, I'll take thee away. I saw that. I saw that movie like Sarah Jessica Parker. Was it a week ago? It's a great movie. It is a good movie. Speaking of, it's uh, it is that time of the year. Are you gonna dress up? No. Do, you, do they let you do that at school or anything? There is actually a um a a Halloween day. Um the 24th, I believe is when we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could just dress up no, you, if I wanted to. Are you going to dress up as somebody who cares? Yeah, I'm actually going to shower that day. <laughs> shave. Yeah. Um iron my clothes. You're going to show up with a tie with- on. Without that that swarm of flies following mm-hmm. you around, and just a just a sense of entitlement. You're not gonna look like Pigpen walking around the school with a dust just cloud dust behind you up everywhere. Everywhere, no, I'm gonna look more like um, um, Schroeder. I'm just gonna have a piano in my room, just nice playing man. the tunes. Nice, that's that's classy. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I'm sure Some all the kids. I'm sure all the kids will not hate you by the end of the day. They all hate me now. Um, so I went to, um, speaking of bad choices, mm. I went to Wendy's today. <laughs> I was going to fill in Taco Bell, but Wendy's is not bad. Wendy, well, just the fast food in general. Yeah. I, I shouldn't think, do it anymore. You know, I but think we talk about this in the realm of cheeseburgers. I think, I think Wendy's is where it's at. They're, they're not bad, they're man. They're fresh. Anyhow, yeah. you went and you got what? I went through, well, I always just get a, I get a Baconator every time I go. Yeah. Because I love it. Because yeah. the mayonnaise, it's, it sells me. The mayonnaise? Yeah. Alone? Why don't you just get a packet of mayonnaise? Just eat you the mayonnaise. It, you get it for the mayonnaise? No, I like paying $10 for my mayonnaise. <laughs> Dude, get a, get a junior bacon chi for five bucks less. 
Nah, I like a Baconator, dude. I don't know what it is. It's got bacon on it. I don't know, dude. <laughs> anyway, I went through the drive-thru. This is regardless of what I ordered. That's This is has nothing to do about my with oh. my food. Okay. I went through the drive-thru, ordered my, ordered my stuff. I came up to the window to pay, and... Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, rolled down my window and I handed the card mm-hmm. over to the attendant and she like looks at me for a second. She's like, Hey, uh, you have, uh, you have a nice, and she just does this thing and she's circling her face, she's circling her face. Like, yeah. yeah, just like, yeah, it was supposed to be a compliment. Like, Oh, you look nice, but it was like, you have a nice, uh, and then she just like pointed to her face. The lady at the drive thru yeah taking my and i was like i was like thank you you know like Which i don't know Wendy's where you at it was the one over on uh is it an in independence no okay it's down down by my work so kind of a regular person in there i've been there before but but didn't it, answer my question huh so just kind of a regular person not kind of like tweaked out or anything like, oh i thought you meant was i a regular person at wendy's are you a, are you am i regular? am i a regular at wendy's <laughs> i've been there before as one of you have a punch no, card you get this is just a regular person that they felt comfortable working the window you know what i'm saying i, I mean that doesn't give much confidence it's true me, you know? it's true it's fast food but but it just you know she seemed like a like a normal lady or whatever she she, she, she had it together yeah, well, well I mean, just, she did. Made... She did call it right. I do have a nice this. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's what uh, they call ineffable. You know. Yeah. It's words you can't describe. It's true. What's going on? You've got a nice, and that's that's how you have to leave it. You just have to kind of circle, do some gestures. Yeah, yeah. Because once you do a gesture, you can't like follow it up with words. Yeah. You know, it's that's it. Yeah. You've ended your compliment at yeah. that point. And I think. Um, oh, sorry. I just hit my windscreen. Anyhow, um, I think the circle, if I if I remember correctly, is like a um, in sign language, just like beautiful. Oh, really? I have a beautiful. Yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. It could I be. am sometimes. There have been a few times I can't recall. Hmm. But well, if that's the case, um, I don't know why she thought I was um, why she thought I was deaf, but. <laughs> You know, it's fine. You know, she wants to throw her her sign language in every day. Yeah. That's fine. Well, she just couldn't. She was just taken aback. You know, she couldn't finish it, and so she's like, "I gotta express this." It's somehow. what it's what happens with the Oxley looks. I tell you. Yeah. Um. But you know, and I thought I was bad at giving co- compliments. You know, but then you run into a person who just like it was. It was awkward. Like yeah. it was an awkward run in. You know. Mm-hmm. But uh. You know, I appreciated it, but it was, it was just. Have you paid it forward? Uh, Can give a compliment to somebody? No, I'll, I'll. I need to figure out my gestures first, and because it was gesture based compliment, so uh, I have yeah. to. I have to continue in that in that form. Mm. Got to tr- stay true to that specific type of compliment. So yeah, you know. I so know. you is just pointing. Mm-hmm. I think one finger, two fingers at somebody, maybe two fingers. You. And then, I uh, do. I do the four. I do the blade. <laughs> I just coughed, and I think I shot popcorn at you. That's how good that cough was, and it, it hit my computer. Anyhow, you point at somebody. It's you, and then R is you do the R, uh-huh. and then you put that to your chin, and then that's all. That's all I got. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, I I don't plan on going too in depth. Yeah. You know, I'll probably just like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll let you know. I'll let you, you know, know what I, I come up a, with. I might have an American sign book that I've stolen or something. Okay. From libraries or yeah, friends. <laughs> stolen, stolen. I mean, a, a you know, you book. move around city to city, and right before you leave, you just you go in and you check out as many books as you want. Mm-hmm. Then you just leave town. That's true. I think that's the that's the play. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually did that on accident once. It was from. Um, Coralville Library. I think you talked is, about this um, next to Iowa City, and they, um, I got like a, I got a bill for it like not too long ago, and I didn't realize I still had the book because I have, I was living in apartments, all these books packed up, and just sure. recently, you know, got all these books out, and I was like, oh man, I do still have that. And it was like twenty bucks. I was like, I like this book. I'll just, I'll pay for it. Okay. Differential instruction in the classroom. 
Okay, so it's mm-hmm. something that can help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, at least you're getting use out of it. I did. Re- I have talked about. I returned a book to uh, Lamoni. That's that the I'd one had for a long time. That's yeah. the one we talked yeah. about. Yeah, and they shot me on sight. I, <laughs> I limped away. Yeah, yeah, unfortunate. Um, have you seen that video? Probably. Um, of the dude, he's an ice cream. I don't even you call him like a scientist, but he's like a, ta- a taste tester. Yeah. Where he's like, mm, mm, mm. I showed somebody that video today and they about lost their mind. It's so funny. He's, he's like, uh, vanilla, creamer, <laughs> natural, natural su- sweeteners. Yeah. And then he's like, uh, that's a 10. It's like, what? I, I think a student showed me that last year. I might start off the day tomorrow with that just to have a good day. Yeah. Just kick off my day. I'm like, ah, that's a good laugh. Yeah. Everybody everybody Google search that's a ten if you just That's a ten. If you if you have a problem with mouth noises, mm. don't look it up. Yeah. If you're okay with mouth noises, like you can stand it, watch it, because it's just ridiculous. I have some trouble with that. Do you? Mouth noises? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. You've talked about that yeah. before, I think. Yes. Yeah. I you know, I'll start talking more into the mic just for you, dude. <laughs> Just for you. Sometimes I'll stop listening to NPR because this person hasn't taken a drink. They're like, live from NPR News in Washington. I'm Jack Spear. <sighs> President Trump today. My mouth is a Sahara Desert. And... and it's like, oh my gosh, I can't. Just makes me angry. Just furious. <laughs> just blood, ma- blood red you, man. You're just white knuckling your steering wheel as you're driving. And no one is ever angry when they listen to NPR. It's usually quite calm. I actually... On Saturday, this last weekend, I laid down and I put on NPR, knowing that it would put me to sleep. I, I'm not joking. I put. I was like, I want to go to sleep fast. I had like 30 minutes to take a nap. I was down for like 20. Mm-hmm. Put on NPR. You know what I listen to? Our um, podcast. <laughs> our podcast and fall asleep because <laughs> it's kidding. boring as shit. Um. No, I listen. I put on um. James ha- James Taylor's Greatest Hits album. Yeah. Knocks me right out, dude. Because it's I've all mellow. That. I think I've got it on the record player right now. Could cool. be wrong. Let's oh, yeah. Going, so, man. this last weekend I was at Graceland's uh, Homecoming. Mm-hmm. I played in the alumni volleyball game. And I got, I think, three blocks. Nice. Maybe four. If I remember right. Any I think kills? I got a shared. I, had, I went up for one, so... I am so slow. So I played JV volleyball. I got, you know, that's like several steps back. And I played with our friend, Mark Lloyd, who we've talked about, who's like strangely athletic. And he's probably maybe five, ten, maybe six foot. And I'm six foot three and I play middle. So yeah. Person in the middle, get in the middle, sets very quick, sets. Um, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm very slow to get to the net. And yeah. I was so rusty. Like, I just, like, I only got one, I was only ready for one good set, and it was a really good set, and I did get the kill, and I did score the point, but it was not a very hard hit, and it kind of, like, it was kind of like, um, I hit it off the side of my hand, so I didn't get a full swat on it, but I did get the point. That's all that matters, man. Yeah. You know what? Play it off. Misdirection, dude. (laughs) Got him. Misdirection. You made him think you were going one way, shot it off to the side. Yeah. Totally planned. But yeah, I did. I did get some blocks. I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't pass at all because I was. Um, I was subbed out in the back row. Gotcha. I told him that I was like, I just don't let me pass. Yeah. Because some of these, like, <laughs> I mean, some of these people, like, I didn't play on like a club team or a school team because they didn't offer it. Uh-huh. Didn't have it anywhere that I, you know, could find in Evansville. And some of these people have been playing, you know, like as long as I've been playing baseball. Sure. So they just have like some natural, you know, some learned skills. Yeah. And I don't. Like, I'm... I just don't. It's a lot, like, that's that's one sport, like, if it were... Like, it's popular out in, like, California and Hawaii and the warmer climates to have, mm-hmm. a, like, for some reason, volleyball is more accepted mm-hmm. for, for guys. For male volleyball, yeah. There just was not a male volleyball team in nope. high school. Nope. <laughs> there wasn't. I would have I would have enjoyed playing it, I think, yeah. but... Yeah. Yeah. Had a good time. And I also played uh, Ultimate Frisbee. Nice. In the rain, which was awesome. Well, it was raining off and on, kind of a sprinkle. It mm-hmm. was warm. 
yeah on saturday too and uh and i only had tennis shoes so i took those off and i was just playing barefoot of course a la joe yeah and uh that's what i always do and um i didn't slide as much but it was so much fun because like normally in ultimate frisbee like you want to dive and get the disc sure but like you know you're gonna like get torn up because it was wet we were just like sliding around all over the place like like i had a frisbee like go past me and i had to like turn around and run for it and i like dove and like slid on my chest it was like extended and that's awesome like i swear like everybody had like two or three of those on both teams just because it was like you could do it like you could just lay out for it and not really worry about it like as long as you kind of fell with some grace right. we're gonna slide for like six or seven feet or more that's awesome dude. lots of fun <clears throat> it's been a while since i played the ultimate yeah it was it had been quite some time for me years probably yeah i used to play a lot yeah you know they had every once in a while i remember it at graceland they'd have some you know, some people would go out and play. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's probably honestly the last time I played. Really? Was at Graceland. Oh, dude. Yeah. So it's, it's been it's been that long. Um, what was I? What else was I going to talk about? We're getting low on popcorn. We are getting low on popcorn. And we got to get to Johnny's uh, facts oh, as yeah. well. Um, so this is fact, fact checking, checking with Johnny. Johnny. Is this better? I think it's better. It's showing up better. I think it's better. But I'm also not on my snowball, so I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm sorry. But not really. But yeah, I am. I'm actually sorry. That's very Canadian. We always apologize. You guys getting used to me apologizing before every episode? I thought about saying sorry again, but then I thought otherwise. Anyways. All right, guys. Here we are with the facts from the last episode. Uh, I'm going to get in through these pretty quickly because I'm recording this from uh, my lovely office, which is uh, quite enjoyable. But uh, you know, just showing a little bit how busy I am um, the past couple of days. So, uh, Yelp. The guys talked about Yelp, which um, you know I kind of thought was not that popular as well. Um, but I did some digging into it, and uh, it turns out that it has 135 million monthly visitors and 95 million reviews. Um, which sounds like a lot, but uh, they're more or less across the world. So, you know, if you look at that ratio of monthly visitors um, to population, it's kind of insignificant. But I think it still can be a handy tool. Um, rhinos' horns. Yes, they do grow back, but they take an extremely long time to do so. Um, one of the articles that I read um, said, think of it as a long and pointy fingernail. It's made out of more or less the same ingredients um the guys talked about big game hunting and this is definitely something um that i'm quite passionate about um and have a a pretty interesting opinion a different opinion i think than most um which zach did touch on and i I would guys i want you to flag this as a topic that we discuss um when we do our joint podcast together so we can actually dig into it um best quarterback of all time um i mean it's easy to say tom brady um that's who i would say um, and I'm not alone in that. Um, so I did some research and there's a, obviously a bunch of different, you know, top quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, but the one that was released by the NFL itself on the NFL's website lists Tom Brady is number one, Peyton Manning is number two, and jo- Joe Montana is number three. But Joe, you're getting a point for the Warren Moon reference because he's a former Edmonton Eskimo, my hometown, fantastic quarterback who did a lot of great things. Um, Twitter and Trump, I don't even know what to do with this. Uh, CNN says um, that they looked into it and that his tweets don't actually violate the Twitter um, code of conduct, but I still don't understand. I just don't understand anything, anything around that man at all. I just don't get it. Um, And then the origins of Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, It's actually to celebrate um, the harvest and other blessings throughout the year. It's, you know, it's scheduled to be around harvest time. In Canada, we harvest a little bit early because of the colder weather, I guess. But it depends on where you are in Canada. I think some of you guys would be surprised at how warm it can get. Anyways, back to the points. Clarifying the points. Joe was right. I did miss a point for him. So Zach's at 14. Joe, you're now up to 15. And uh, I don't even know where I'm at, honestly. But I did review the past couple episodes to make sure the points were on point. 
Points on point on points. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Johnny. We uh, we appreciate your your coffee induced madness. Yeah, you were wound up there, man. Just firing away. You got all kinds yeah. of energy, dude. He must he must have had a whole pot. Mm-hmm. The the info about Yelp really surprised me. Yeah, like 135 million a month. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. I wonder how that. that um, I wonder how that compares with the other other ones. Like the most visited sites are like Facebook. Google. Um, Google, Reddit, yeah, and um, the Space Jam website. <laughs> I did go to the Space Jam yeah, website. Really? Yeah, Gosh, with, it's like a blast from the past. Within the past six months, yeah. you can still go to it. Like, Unfortunately, like they had like games and stuff that mm-hmm. were on there, but a lot of that has has been deprecated so far that it doesn't even work on modern browsers anymore. Really? You'd oh, have man. to you'd have to use like a really old browser to be able to to play the games. Did you have did you have some GAC near you and like Stretch Armstrongs and like just yeah. to kind of take you back some slap bracelets. And- yeah, silly straws and Yeah, man. I had yeah. a oh gosh. Uh I had a Slinky. Mhm. Uh I had uh a Tamagotchi. Mhm. Those are making a comeback, though. I hear. Are they? Yeah, I feel like they have them on your phone. I mean, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't buy it. Tom got. I had the other one, Gigapet. I did too. I think mine mm-hmm. died. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never. Yeah, I, I don't do care. well. I don't do well with those kind of things where I gotta like remember to come back and do it. If it's a game, like if, like I have apps where it's like you know play for five days straight and you get this. I'm like no. Nah. For a while there, back when Facebook first <laughs> introduced games. Mm-hmm. I was playing this one game. I'm trying to remember what it was called, but it was like you had like you were this Sky Golf. No, well Sky Golf, I played that too. But you were like this dog or something, and you you like had a house. I don't even recall what mm. the fuck it was, but like you had to like clean up and like it was sort of like The Sims, but like animated, mm-hmm. like a cartoon almost looking thing. Mm. It was really weird. Unlike Sims, that's animated. It's 3D animated. The Sims. You know what I'm saying. Like anyway. a holograph? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Um, so, the points. Yeah. Shows, uh, I'm up to 15. Congratulations, man. Zach, you're at 14. Congrats. Yeah. I don't even, honestly, don't even know what I got a point for this week. Because yeah. Johnny was just like, man, this and this and that and that. And I like boats. Well, and <laughs> he made He made a point where he said, let's save this to talk about. Yeah. Um. When we do a joint podcast together, was he talking about the big game hunting or the best quarterback? Because he kind of like big game hunting. Big game hunting. Yeah. He has a unique perspective on that. Yeah. Or was it a unique perspective on best quarterback? I think it was the big game hunting. Because Tom Brady's not unique. I mean, having I was like, of course, yeah. Everyone thinks he's the guy. Yeah. Speaking of Brady, before we started recording, <clears throat> Joe's uh, Joe's wife. We were talking about. Uh, pimps or something like that yeah. and i said oh like wayne brady and she said who's that is that like a he like play football or something i <laughs> almost lost my mind yeah. wayne brady the um famous uh halfback for the detroits sure the detroits the detroits a lot of his plays that he does seem to be it's almost like they're improvised yeah like he just doesn't have a plan when he goes out there but somehow it like works out mm-hmm. and, and it ends and very robustly yeah and everybody's really excited yeah. and happy that's right Whenever he's in there doing his mm-hmm. thing, you yeah. know? And he gets points for those. But they yeah. don't matter. But they don't matter. Like this show. Yeah. Just like everything that Trump does, it doesn't matter. Because there are no repercussions. There are Just zero. Like the points. Zero repercussions. Mm-hmm. What did he do this past week? I don't want to dwell too Every much on Trump. It's just crazy. I don't want to dwell too much on Trump. But it's like... But it's, it's, it's so... It, like, I'm not... Like... I'm not surprised anymore because seriously, every day yeah. there's something crazy that he has either tweeted or done. Like it's just, yeah, yeah. Ooh, something we didn't we didn't touch on was Eminem's. Uh, oh yeah, his 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 verse that or his. I his thought it was a little freestyle. kind of awkward, strange at first because it wasn't like there's no beat to it. Yeah, there's no beat, and I'm expecting like um, 
you know, some eight mile stuff where he's like, you know, freestyling and, sm- you know, he goes for like two minutes, but he yeah. like take breaks in between and like, yeah. And he's got all these dudes behind him. They're just like stone faced, just staring like yeah. with their arms crossed. I don't even yeah. know if they're like shaking their heads or anything like agreeing. They're just like every once in a while you see a close up of them. Yeah. Like what? I don't know. What... Was a, I mean, he made some good points. Some of them. I think they're just not as connected as I thought. Yeah. There was a, um, you know, it wasn't. This line wasn't anything really politically motivated, but he was talking about Trump. You know, he I think he said uh, when it comes to having the balls to face me, you hide them because you don't have the nuts like an empty asylum is what he said. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Him and him. Marshall Mathers. Like an empty asylum. And that's all off the top of the off the top of the head. Yeah. He is. Uh, he's 45 years old. Eminem. He's, yep, I believe it because he came Isn't around. Crazy? He came around late nineties. Yeah, with so uh, shady. Yep. Hi, my name is. Yeah, Zach. My name's Zach. Hi, my name's Joe. Nice to meet you. And this is uh, Joe Wood, your favorite podcast about nothing. We're gonna go for another <laughs> another hour. Um, no, we didn't talk too much about that, but that was yeah. all over all over the news and everything. There is this one. It sort of infuriates me. There's this one Facebook page. It's these two women. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, they like put themselves up against a green screen and were like rapping at Eminem. It was one of the most awkward things ever because it was like, you know, you're rapping at Eminem. You know? Yeah. But they, and they were just like regular people, but they're like, Trump's your president. He's your president. It's like, I think you're missing the point here. Yeah. You're missing the whole point of what he's trying to say. But anyway. Well, I think we have reached uh maximum capacity. Maximum capacity um for yeah. the for this week. So Yeah, my electric bill is going up, so I gotta I gotta turn all this off soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we might wanna we might wanna wrap it up. We're gonna shut it down. Yeah. So anyway <laughs> you can find us uh on all social media. At Jumbled Podcast, uh, we are on SoundCloud, we're on Google Play Music, we're on Play. Friendster. <laughs> Friendster, we are on uh, Zanga, we're mm-hmm. on uh, MySpace, we, we created a new thing for MySpace. and uh, Tumblr. Tumblr, we're on there, and mm-hmm. we're on, uh, uh, oh gosh, uh, we're on AOL chat rooms, mm-hmm. you can just find us on the AOL chat rooms. Apple support. Yeah, Apple, <laughs> Apple support. Mm-hmm. We're uh, we're just giving out advice all day long. Mac hacks, Mac hacks. We we're on like uh, the Packers forums. Mm-hmm. We were just in we're on... an anonymous video last week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were WikiLeaks. We're, WikiLeaks. We're everywhere. Um, we just Julie Lassange <laughs> is my best friend. <laughs> we're uh, I forgot where it was. We're Player FM. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're on iTunes. Please head over, rate and review, be appreciated. And uh, if you want to send us an email, that's jumbledpodcast at gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. At Geo Sites, it was a Geo. I was thinking, like, was mm-hmm. it Geo Cities or something? Uh, it was Geo Cities. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking about. But I was like, so is that like a thing? Angel Fire was that another one too? Or Angel? Yeah, something like something that, weird. dude. The internet was weird back the back that's in the strange. day. Nobody knew how to handle the internet when it was first out. Yeah. It was weird. Hey, but we're on the internet now. We are. We're on the internet. Find we're, us on the internet. We're in your pocket. We're in your pocket. Whoa. We're, we are always with you. Whenever you need to pick me up, hit that play button. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, spread spread the podcast around. Share it with your friends. Um, and, of course, let us know what you're thinking. Wherever you want to contact us. Uh, we respond everywhere. So, anyway, uh, make sure to check back next week for another episode of Jumbled, your favorite podcast. About? Pete, uh, pee parties on boats. Oh, they're going to say Pete and Pete. <laughs> that too. Pete and Pete. That's our new podcast theme. Favorite podcast about Pete and Pete. It's all in mm-hmm. peace. All right, see you guys. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, man. I wish I had another orange. The other day I went to the grocery store. And? Uh, I went, I bought a cherry and a microphone stand. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> is, that, is that something? You don't get the joke? No, I don't. Oh, bada bing, bada, bada boom. boom. Yeah, that's one of your corny dad jokes. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's one of the better ones. Yeah. <laughs>